Okay, boys and girls, this is the second part to the how to use the browser automation studio. Um, if you watched the first video, you would know that this is one of the rare series that um, this is available on YouTube for free and on the website. So guys, if you're on YouTube watching this, I'd appreciate if you afterwards, if you find this useful, uh, go into thebotempire.com. The link will be in the description. And also if you subscribe and press that mother trucking bell icon so you get uh, new <laughs> notifications when I release new videos. Okay, so in the first video we talked about downloading um, the framework, the browser automation studio, or as I said from now on, we're gonna call it Bass. Okay, so I'm gonna just presume that you've done that and you know how to install um, a framework. You just double click on the XE and it will ask you some questions like where to install and also if you want it in English or Russian. So I'm sure, you know, if you um, don't un understand how to do that, then you can drop me a message via um, YouTube or on the website, which is you'll get um, a quicker response if you mail me on thebotempire.com, links in, in the description. Okay, so we've got there and you're uh, faced with this. This is what you're gonna see when you load it up, the browser automation studio for the first time. You'll be like, oh my God, what's going on here? Um, so I'm gonna run through some basic menus and what they do in this video. And then the next one, we're gonna get into some um, great details. So um, I'll just run through these quickly, and if you think I'm running through them too fast, it's only because we're going to go through um, an, um, uh, another video at a different time that explains the features in more depth. But for instance, if you click project, some of this is quite um, straightforward, and I'm sure you've seen this in other programs, but um, project, new, to create a new one, open, save, show a database if you're working with databases, this is this is all standard stuff which I'm sure you understand so to open a new project let's just say that you're making a scraper new and then you'd give it a name uh, open of course if you're <laughs> if you've already got a project that you're working on uh, save save as it's quite straightforward reports um, these we're going to go into detail a little bit later um, because like the HTT uh, uh, Sniffer is for a different video, a bit more in depth, okay? And build, um, compile is, so once you've got your bot and you're really happy with it, then we can compile it, which just means basically make it into a real program that you can then send to your friends or buddies, uh, or even your mum to show um, what a great coder you are. And then, um, yeah, so we'll use that feature later on as well. Also, it, it when you compile a bot, um, you can if you've got the paid version of Bass, then you can then use that to upload to um, the back end to there, and then um, you'll be able to sell the bot or you know uh, charge people for that, which we'll get into later on. Um, run is simply this button as well. Uh, we use the record button to make new features in our bots and run to test it in a real environment, which means basically um, how the bot would be for to say. I sold you the bot, that's how it'd be if you, I sold you the bot and that's how it'd look. Interface is quite a new, oh, sorry, wrong button. Um, interface is to decide if it looks like this way or there's a couple of options with colors and stuff. Tools, build um, regular expression, that's gonna be quite key when we get into some more advanced bots, okay? Like I said, some of these features I'm just skipping over because we'll get into that in a, another video. Uh, same with fingerprint um, prints, um, switcher um, we're gonna need that later on um, so we'll get to some stuff that we're definitely gonna need now um, let's talk about the resources okay resources are such a key feature of building bots um, as it says here is that um, add data um, to use text files controls databases and that's gonna be in the next video we're, we're really gonna dig deep into how to do resources in fact I'm gonna go over um, over every feature that you can do to make a resource um, so a resource could be um, a proxy list, it could be a number for threads, it could be so many different things. But um, like I said, I'm going to go over every different angle you could use um, with a resource in the next video. Uh, to record, that's where we record the actions in the bot, like um, going to a browse, you know, going to a certain web page 
or you know doing all the different things your bot's going to do so that's the second video and the third video what we're going to do is after we've made a simple bot we're going to start um we're going to run it which will be like how a user interface would be like um like i said if i sent you the bot and um you were going to use it that's how it would look to the end user okay guys so i hope this video has been a little bit more helpful i know we've only got gone over some of the features um, but the main things you want to take away obviously project make a new project open a new one save save what you've already done um, but the the main features you want to take away is record is where we do all the hard lifting that's where we build our bot to run is to run what we've done when it's finished and we're happy and we want to test it like how a user would get that video or a client and resources is really key that's where we put all the inputs like your text controls and databases and even even um, we need to input um, a field to um, say how many um, a number of threads we're going to run and so much more so the next video how it's going to go is uh, resources record and run and that's how we're going to work things because making the resources is key that's what um, basically powers our bots then we're going to record the actions um, and then we're going to run what we've made okay guys i'll see you in the next video